Okay, this is the Enermax Neo Changer 300 milliliter model. I just unboxed it. I know there's a lot of unboxing videos out there, and to me, it's tremendously boring. Uh, I've been through the box, all the contents are there. It came with what it's supposed to come with, and eventually, I'll be doing a review. It'll be cooling this MSI Seahawk version of the GeForce 1080. Originally, I was going to do a Vega 64. Uh, I got the card. The hardware seemed okay, but the Radeon software was just terrible, caused issues with my system, and I troubleshooted it for a couple of days, and I said to heck with it. I returned it and got the GeForce 1080. Um, I unscrewed this cap from, from here. just wanted to get an idea of the threading on the unit. There's no imperfections that I can see. The base is nice, no scratches. I'm getting some oil from my skin on it, but the unit itself is very tight. Uh, there's nothing worse than getting a brand new device and finding that it has imperfections, chips in it. Uh, there's a protective film covering the display readout. I'm going to put this cap to the side. The caps on top are pretty tight, like more than finger tight. I can't undo them. I'll show you the the top logo. Of course this comes with a bracket so that you can mount it horizontally if your application requires. I'm gonna grab a I've got a adapter here I just wanted to test fit. You know that's the other thing too I see a lot of people unboxing things and you know it doesn't tell you how good of a job Enermax did threading these uh, connectors here and you know that's that's a pretty important thing when you're dealing with water cooling you know are you gonna have all kinds of trouble getting your uh, fitting started in the in the device itself but this is these are going in just fine and that's one thing I was curious about too is you know how how good will the, the threads be? How good will the machining be? And, um, yeah, those seem fine. And the other thing is, how good does the acrylic look when you get it? You know, is the acrylic all scratched up? It had a plastic bag covering it. I think you can see. I don't know if the camera picks it up, but it's, it's really blemish free. The top cap here is very nicely done no imperfections so it's yeah straight out of the box it's a nice looking unit now when I cool the card here I'm, I'm using kind of a generic uh, radiator it's a 240 millimeter Swift Tech radiator that I picked up at Micro Center uh, and then I actually have an all-in-one kit I don't even remember the brand I can't find it on anywhere but it's actually gonna be a separate 120 millimeter radiator so this card will be cooled with two radiators with the uh, coolant being pushed by this Enermax Neo Changer so I'm interested to see how, how that works because of course one of the uh, selling points of this is uh, the power of the pump over some competing models so I just wanted to get this first video done just give you a, hopefully a, a closer view of the device itself and like I said there's some unboxing videos out there and I just yeah you know, I didn't want to do the same old thing and you know just have you watch me unpacking this device so I was hoping to to give a better view of the actual device itself and just show you that it's a quality device you see the cables leaving here like I said the base there's no it doesn't look like it was beat up in manufacturing or handled roughly so I commend them for that because a lot of times, you know, you'll get something brand new and you'll instantly notice some imperfections. So my next video will be after I have my Ryzen system put together. It will be a Ryzen 1600 that I have overclocked at 3.925 on all six cores. It'll be pushing this MSI 1080 Seahawk edition. And 
yeah, it'll be cooled by this Enermax Neo Changer. So we'll see how this thing performs under load. And that's it for now. Look for that video coming up. Thanks.